Dolphins. But Kevin, what is your way to beat the Dolphins in this game? Do you agree? You sit back and you hope for the best. You don't want to, you know, you know, get in a situation to where you're against these receivers in a, in a, in a negative situation, or are you with me in a situation to where we watch this team sit back uh, against these top offenses? And what's one of the biggest criticisms that anybody has for McDermott and his team? Uh, what is your opinion of that, Kevin? What, where, where do you stand? Like, what, what, what is your way? If you were to think of a way, what do you want to do to beat the Dolphins? I think I'm on both sides here, but I lean more towards the aggressive side because I agree, Kevin. I'm sick and tired of this Bills defense, which is very talented, by the way. I'm sick and tired of watching them play that bend but don't break mentality and say, oh, here, take 80 yards down the field, but we're going to tighten up once we get into the red zone, and then we're going to hold you to a field goal. So, yeah, Tua, you can have 500 yards, but we're going to hold you to field goals all day. No, that, that, that's got to stop because this defense – is very good at what they do and we've been seeing that the last three weeks but i think you have to have balance with everything that you do because if you're too aggressive then they will make you pay for sure. it so i don't know if you guys are ready to get into this yet but i'm going to get into the specifics here about what i think the bills can do to try to balance that out and that is have Kyrie elam active this week i'm not saying he has to start i'm not saying he has to play over christian benford but i want to see some press man coverage and let me just get into some stats real quick. In the first matchup against the Dolphins last year, in 25 coverage snaps, Elam only allowed 10 yards on two receptions. And then in the December 17th matchup, 18 coverage snaps, 11 yards on two receptions. And then in the playoff game, he had that game-changing interception. And Tyree Kill only had 69 yards on seven catches. Jalen Model 44 yards on three catches. So again, I'm not saying that Elam has to be the, the savior this week. And Mike, going back to your point from earlier in this show, I understand if he can't play against the previous three teams, then how do you expect to throw him out against arguably the best offense of the, in the NFL right now? But I think that this is a matchup-based league, and I really highly doubt that Elam is just going to ride the bench the rest of the season. So I think they're going to use him in certain degrees, and I think this is a week that you can get him in and use those physical attributes and his athleticism to your advantage. One other thing that I want to say, I'm not saying that Elam needs to come in for Christian Benford and Benford's inactive. I think that they're, they should both be active, and I think Benford should still start. But to Kevin's point, I want to see them mix up the defense. I want to throw some different looks out there where that's not just you know cover two the whole time. Play some press man coverage. That's what you drafted Elam for. So, you know, Benford can start the game and then you have some different packages where Elam can come in, get right up on the line of scrimmage because there's a lot of pre-snap motion that the Dolphins are running right now. And I don't think that this is a time that you can just sit back and wait for them to make the move. You go make the move yourself. So you bring in Elam on certain packages and I think you just need to find that balance because that's what the Patriots did with Christian Gonzalez. I mean, they played press man with Christian Gonzalez, a rookie corner from Oregon. And I'm not going to say he did a stellar job, but he was pretty solid against the Dolphins offense that only scored 24 points that game. Christian, 